Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie here, and I'm here today with Nora Gedgaudis, who's a board-certified nutritional consultant and a neurofeedback specialist from Portland, Oregon. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. I'm still on the journey. I'm still on so many of us with brain injuries are tired and right. end up drinking coffee all day long just to get going. Right. Well, How does that well, affect our brain? Well, one of the primary causes associated with brain fog and being tired a lot is inflammation, right? And so when you're feeling like your brain just can't quite get it on, you know, people start looking for stimulants as a way to improve the way they feel. It's an artificial, it's not giving yourself energy, it's, it's giving yourself a stimulant. Part of the problem with this is that people with traumatic brain injury tend to be over aroused as it is anyway. Their nervous systems tend to be more in fight or flight mode than nice, calm, relaxed, parasympathetic mode. And so with caffeine, you're sort of just adding to that. You're also, caffeine has a vasoconstrictive effect. It, it, it sort of squeezes down your blood vessels and it makes it harder for your brain to get enough of a blood supply. It also elevates your blood sugar, which as we talked about before, can be something that messes yeah, with your you moods, your energy, your mental and emotional stability, uh, but also does some damage you know, to your brain long term. Now if you're a normal, healthy, non-brain injured person, the occasional cup of coffee isn't going to unravel you and if you're sticking to organic coffee and not overdoing it. But so much depends on who you are and what, how symptomatic you are and how challenged you are in life. And it's, if you can do without those kinds of artificial stimulants, I think it's so much the better. Mm -hmm. you know? Figuring out what's actually causing the fatigue as opposed to just sort of throwing an artificial Band-Aid on top of it would be the way to go. And inflammation is generally the biggest enemy of a person with a traumatic brain injury. You know, caffeine isn't your best choice. It's also dehydrating, yeah. right? And your brain needs that hydration. Yeah. Anything that challenges your brain is something you probably can't afford so much. Right. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. Hello, my beautiful, courageous friends. It's Natalie here, and I'm here with Nora Ged... Ged, Ged sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Ged Gaudis. Yes, Ged Gaudis. Yes. From Portland, Oregon.